let's take a look at some more difficult unit operations using mixed units. Many times a measurement of one item is written using two units. So for example, the length of a stick could be one meter and 90 centimeters. And it would be written like this, one meter, 90 centimeters. That's the measurement of one object. Let's look at an example of adding together three different measurements that use some mixed units. So we are asked to add this one meter, 90 centimeters, plus two meters, 67 centimeters, and then plus a smaller measurement of just 85 centimeters. So let's begin with step one. Step one, we want to align our measurements vertically. So I'm starting here with my one meter, 90 centimeters, and I'm going to add two meters, 67 centimeters, lined up vertically. Meters are going to go here in this column, centimeters here in this column. And I still have a third measurement to add, which is my 85 centimeters. So 85 centimeters. So I have all of my measurements lined up vertically, and now I'm simply going to add. So I'll start here by adding my smaller units together of 90 plus 67 plus 85, which equals 242 centimeters. And then I add my larger units here of 1 meter plus 2 meters, which equals 3 meters. So this is my first step of adding like units and vertically aligning the units. Then my answer here so far is 3 meters, 242 centimeters. My second step is going to be to look at the results of step one and see if any unit can be simplified to a bigger unit. So in this step, we're specifically, specifically looking at our smaller units and seeing if any of these can be converted to our larger unit. And in this case, when I look at the 242 centimeters, I know that 100 centimeters equals one meter. So when I see in here that I have 242 centimeters, I can see that 200 of those centimeters can be converted over to meters. So let's look at that written out. I can take this 242 centimeters and I can think of it as 2 times 100 centimeters plus 42 centimeters. So this is the same, two times 100 centimeters plus 42 centimeters is the same as 242 centimeters. I've simply split it up into two different parts. Well, I know that 100 centimeters equals a meter, and so instead of saying two times 100 centimeters, I can say two times one meter or two meters, plus still the 42 centimeters that I have here. So now I'm gonna take these two meters and I'm just simply going to move them over here to be with these me this measurement of meters. So I'm gonna take this two meters and bring it over here with this three meters and I'm gonna add three meters plus two meters, which equals five meters. Now I don't wanna forget that I still have these 42 centimeters over here that are still part of the centimeter measurement. So I'm gonna say five meters, need to make myself a little bit of room here, five meters, 42 centimeters. 
So I have two different answers that are the exact same measurement, but they're one of them's converted to a simplified form. So when I added together my meters and centimeters, I came up with this answer of 3 meters 242 centimeters. This is the same answer as this, 5 meters 42 centimeters. It's just that we took 200 of these centimeters, converted them to meters, moved them over here with the 3 meters, and made that 5 meters 42 centimeters. So we want to give our final answer here in this simplified form and the simplified version of 5 meters 42 centimeters.